My practice is committed to looking at how our encounter with the world in general comes through relying on it, counting on very numerous things that I would call structures of support. The way that contemporary art is presented still has inherited this notion that there is a sort of ideal audience that it's presenting to. This ideal audience is white, male, intelligent, educated. It's not a child who wants to touch everything. It is not somebody who will perhaps have a nap in the corner or have a sandwich, right? So what's appropriate and not appropriate in this place of culture is very, very defined. And I'm interested in opening that up in order to include perhaps other ways of encountering culture. There's also a notion that is extremely strong, which is the fact that the cultural object, artifact, information that is presented to you is something that should be protected from you. So you know that you can't touch anything in a museum, right? So the object should be looked at from a distance and in silence. You know, all of that, I think, relies on a certain ideology of what culture is and the idea that it should not be an intimate interaction which I completely disagree with. My cebule was well tipo. Sembrava che protestasse con qualcuno ce l'aveva. Direi che ce l'aveva con tutti. I've dedicated my practice through a number of ways in trying to undo some of those uh, elitisms and exclusions in both the production and the perception of culture. So through making things, for instance, that I call support structures, so things that hold things up. I've also worked quite a lot with uh, structures for play, so objects that are to be encountered in a completely different way that you can spin on, throw yourself in, etc. Or also functional objects such as the museum benches, lighting, soundtrack, all of those things that I think create the sort of cultural unconscious of our encounter with the museum and therefore culture is somehow that's my territory. That's the kind of things that I'm interested in making. There's not that many prizes for women, but there are some, which means that there's already quite a lot of people who are working on trying to fix a little bit the problem of stark inequality between men and women in the art world, which of course is getting better, but it's still not equal. In an ideal world, the quality of the work is such that you wouldn't even need to mention whether it's a woman or not a woman, but it needs a bit of work. Everybody needs to work a little bit before that is actually possible. <laughs>